What's up guys, my name is Khan, and we're back today in Scrap Mechanic, and we're back playing around once again with the Magnets mod. I've been getting a lot of comments recently where you guys have been asking me to combine different engine types and try to make sort of these weird hybrid type engines that have, you know, let's say like a spud engine with a piston engine, or a piston engine with a magnet engine, or whatever. And it really got me thinking about the actual sort of concept cars of today, which use these weird sort of hybrid engines. And I'm not talking hybrid engines like a Prius that's half gas, half electric. Well, actually, no, we are. We are talking about an engine that's half gas, half electric. But I was thinking more like the race cars, the concept cars, where they have usually these really powerful electric motors that give them a boost, and the boost gets recharged as you sort of slow down through the corner. So they have a gas engine that drives, and then when they want, they can hit sort of like a boost button. I busted out the old magnet engine that we've got here. You can see, you know, pretty standard stuff. It's just got a, a ring of magnets around the outside and then a core on the inside. And, you know, we could turn it on and, uh, yeah. It, it'll spin and it spins pretty fast. It's got a, a little bit of lag going on here. You can see this is something that's a little bit new now, I've noticed. Since the most recent update, something is weird with the magnet mod because this engine never used to create these sort of, um, smoke rings i guess i don't know what's going on but in, in now it creates these smoke rings and i really don't know why so i'm not sure if that's what's been affecting the performance but regardless you can see there it spins no problem in the one direction and we can fire it up and it'll spin in the other direction and it's a pretty powerful motor and i thought well why don't we make like a, a magnet wheel hub that we can then mount to a car and drive around and, and potentially get like a boost motor, right? So that's where this device back here came along and this is a hubbed magnet motor. So you can see here, if we put this down, uh, let's actually, you know what, let's put this down on a nice little sort of piece here and uh, we'll have it mounted on a bearing like this and we'll just, uh, we'll extend this out a little bit further. There we go. And uh, actually, you know what? No, we'll put this whole thing on a bearing this way and then we'll put that on a bearing like this and now this should be a great little demo there we go so you can see this magnet motor is actually small enough to fit inside the hub of the wheel and a little bit different from the previous magnet motor so we do need a switch here just to turn it on so we'll hook the switch up and this magnet motor here has it so that the magnets on the outside actually turn on and off to power the inside so the inside is just constantly turned on when you turn on the switch and when you turn on that switch, the outside magnets will alternate between on and off to rotate the thing. Whereas this one is the opposite. The magnets on the inside of the hub are hooked directly into the sensors on the hub. And as they spin past this white section here, uh, they, they get turned on. And as the magnets turn on on this white section, they get repelled by these magnets here, which then continue to push the motor around. So all we got to do is hook these four magnets into our permanent switch and then all four of these will push the hubbed motor. And this should work pretty decently. So we can just turn this on here, and you can see, there we go, it's uh, creating some speed. And so you can see it's a pretty powerful hubbed motor. It, it works really well, um, you know, pulling the wheel along, no problem. And it, it does seem to get a fair amount of speed out of it. Of course, it, it's going pretty quick, but I feel like the limitation here is the fact that it can't go as fast as we'd like it to just because of how fast the script can run. I might be completely wrong on this and I might need to actually improve the motor design, but it, it seems to be a little bit slow. I was playing around with different designs on the pattern. Okay, that's a little bit faster, but you can see again, getting those weird moments where the sort of the smoke ring comes off the vehicle and i'm not sure if that's a weird collision that's happening it seems to only happen with the magnets and the script so i i really don't know what's going on there but you can see even when we change the amount of time that the magnets held on for it still doesn't seem to change the overall speed it's almost like there's a delay between how fast the sensors can activate the magnets maybe or maybe it's how fast the magnets can activate using the script i'm really not sure but regardless i decided to take these sort of hubbed motors and actually put them on some really cool sort of hybrid concept car vehicles and unfortunately it doesn't work as as well as i would like it to i'd really like it to work like much better than it does but you can see here we've taken this vehicle and uh, we'll just slow the engine speed down a little bit it's a little bit quick maybe we'll speed up a little bit there we go and on the back we've got just a simple double wishbone suspension setup uh identical to the double wishbone suspension setup on the buggies actually just without the piston pushing it down and again with that glitch free connection there so it uh, it doesn't provide any suspension glitch effect and then on the front same thing a little bit more compact i'm really happy actually with the way the suspension turned out it looks really really slick in my mind but we've got double wishbone suspension here again with the suspension pieces kind of inside this section here glitch free as well and then you can see when we turn we've actually got this wicked sort of 
like turning capability it's just really really cool and it is actually mounted on a double turning bearing just because the weight of the magnet motors are a little bit heavy but we can uh, hit the throttle here and we're just going forward just with normal WASD that's hooked into the rear wheels no gas engine on the front simple stuff and this is sort of the part where you know I would really like the magnet boost to make a huge difference but see so we can drive straight here no boost and if we hit the one button that activates the magnet boost and it doesn't really like it doesn't it doesn't feel that much different I mean it feels like maybe a little faster but like I mean the main thing it does is it makes your guys character freak out so here he see he's freaking out already and then and then again we got some smoke rings and like you can't I can't really tell if it goes any faster and, and this was the biggest problem I was having over and over again now we can actually activate the magnets just on their own without using the WASD and you can see they do pull the whole vehicle log even with those motors but it's almost like the gas engine is limiting the total throttle like these two back wheels can only spin so fast or something or the magnet wheels just aren't spinning fast enough to make a difference I'm really not sure but see here's the thing if we if we jack this up and we put it up at a, at a higher height the magnet wheels they do work you can see they do they do spin but again you get a lot of that glitchiness and uh oh yeah this was the one that's right we remove these two blocks and it, it does make it a little bit better there we go we just put cement blocks because the stupid slope there we go slope pieces but you can see even at the higher speeds okay maybe that was maybe that was part of the problem hold on hold on hold on and no no it's still see it's still the same it's it's almost like those back wheels i mean the characters he's he's freaking out but i feel like there's some limitation here and i'd really love to know if you guys do have any ideas as to what could you know what could be the limiting factor here please let me know in the comments down below i i really really do want to make this hybrid drive work and you can see it looks really cool when that suspension goes i mean it just it looks fantastic but i really wanted to make like a whole concept car and have you know the electric boost obviously we could do a thruster based boost system but that's not really you know the way real cars do it and uh you know i really i really wanted to make this magnet boost work but i didn't just give up here i i did do a few more tests so the next test of course was to do quadruple wheeled hybrid systems so we've got the hybrid engines on the back without the steering on the back they're just straight connected and then of course the two on the front with the steering and these hybrid engines actually have south magnets in the front as well so the way this works is when the magnet gets to the top position it gets pushed forward by these north magnets to keep the wheel spinning but then now it also gets pulled by these south magnets just to give it that sort of extra extra force and we've also got the gas engine hooked into all four wheels, which you can't really tell. There's a lot, but it's hooked into all four wheels here. You know, you would think it would work a lot better, but again, the same thing. The gas engine, you know, it's not exactly at the highest speed just for testing purposes. It gets going pretty quick. And then when you hit the magnets, I mean, you can't, other than the lag increasing your character, you know, freaking out, it, it really doesn't, like, look at, we're, we're on, like, the vehicle is on fire. There's a lot of glitchiness going on, and I know these magnet engines work. I mean, if we take the weight off the vehicle, they'll spin no problem, but they don't really give you that, you know, that extra speed. You can see normal drive, and then magnet boost, normal drive, magnet boost. I mean, maybe a little bit, but it's so, it's so minimal. And I'd really like to have like a substantial difference with these cars. When they hit that booster, it really, really goes. And I'd really love to figure out a way to do that. And of course you guys always have all the suggestions on how to fix these kinds of things. So really let me know. And uh, I'd love to hear your opinions, but of course we'll, we'll take off the gas engine. Cause I'm sure a lot of people are like, well, you know, if you remove the gas engine and have them on free wheels, it'll work better and uh it's pretty much the same thing you could see even if we even if we take off the gas engine you still get a lot of that glitchiness and i don't know if this is a script limitation like i said is it just something wrong with the way that the scripts work or is it uh something different with the magnet mod in this new update but uh we're we're on fire oh no we're good now so after that one didn't work i figured you know what we got to do at least one more test maybe we're just not getting enough magnet power so we're back on the front wheel drive system only free wheels on the front gas engines on the back and we've got six south magnets on the front pulling it forward, six north magnets pushing it. And of course, we've got uh, that on either side. Uh, it makes our steering a little bit more wonky now. But if we go straight, it's a really, really slow powered gas engine. And uh, we can just hit the throttle. And you can see, again, same thing. The character just starts starts doing his thing. He's just he's just freaking out really, really hard. But again, we're, we're pretty... Oh, we're so much smoke. So again, I don't know how to make this uh, more effective. I'd really love to have a boost. I mean, obviously, like I said, 
thrusters would be the easiest way to do it put a boost system with thrusters but i'd really love to make a system that uses magnets kind of like a real race car and the beauty of these magnet engines is when you don't have the magnet activated it still free spins nicely like the wheel is still free spinning no issue and then we can just hit the button and have the character freak out a lot of course let me know in the comments down below what you guys think i could do to fix this system or maybe there's a better system out there a better way to make like an electric hybrid drive i don't really want to get into gears because gears and scrap mechanic aren't exactly the greatest but it would be really cool to have some sort of a, a hybrid type system where you can mix both gas and electric engines or you know gas and magnet powered engines or even gas and piston engines maybe but i'm really not sure you know, I was really disappointed when these didn't work because it just, it's so cool to drive a vehicle on these magnet hubbed wheels. Like, this is great. The Each wheel has its own sort of hubbed motor. The motors are a lot smaller now, and I spent a fair amount of time making these motors to make them, you know, really, really small and compact and usable with the vanilla wheels. And I was just so disappointed when it finally worked and then you put it on a car and and this happens and it was so exciting and I was so stoked to have this great concept car, but of course... Uh, you know, without these proper magnet motors, this isn't this isn't exactly going to the racetrack anytime soon. Even though this thing works, I don't think I'm going to upload it to the workshop. I mean, you know, it kind of works okay, but it just, it needs so much more improvement. I mean, again, maybe it's a script limitation. I, I really don't know, but it would just be so much cooler if it moved a lot quicker. And even on pure magnet drive, it really just doesn't move that quick. But I'd love to hear what you guys think in the comments down below. And of course, while you're at it, Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and we'll see y'all next time. The thing is, this thing is smoking.